hello guys in this video let us see about batteries what are batteries batteries are energy storing devices they are broadly classified as primary secondary and then flow battery primary battery cannot be recharged because the cell reactions are not reversible for example dry cell or lecklange cell so that is used in the torches and all they cannot be recharged then secondary batteries they are also known as storage battery so that means they can be recharged this is because the cell reactions are reversible so such batteries can be recharged examples for the secondary batteries are lead acid storage battery nicat battery even solar cells all right lithium ion batteries or examples for the secondary batteries flow battery is a one as long as we provide the reactants they will provide the electricity or energy if we stop providing the uh, fuels or the reactants then they will also stop providing the energy such batteries are known as flow battery as long as the reactants flows into the battery the uh, they will produce you the electricity okay so uh, we will be seeing in detail about the secondary batteries uh, various types of secondary batteries so batteries are normally devices that are able to store energy and then uh, in the form of chemical energy they stores and then provide you the electricity Uh, components of the batteries are anode which is a negative electrode cathode which is a positive electrode and then electrolyte at anode usually oxidation takes place that is loss of electron at cathode reduction takes place uh, the addition of electron will take place now let us see about the nickel metal hydride battery so this battery is an extension of nickel cadmium batteries uh, nickel cadmium cadmium is act, will act as anode and nickel oxide will act as cathode and koh will be the electrolyte and there will be a flow of electron from the cadmium that is um, uh, from the anode to the cathode and then flow of current from the cathode to the anode now let us see about the nickel metal hydride which is an extension of this nickel cadmium battery it is also a secondary battery rechargeable battery so mh stands here for the metal hydride it reacts with the oh minus of the electrolyte it uh, produces metal and then uh, water and then electron so these electron will flow to the cathode so at cathode what is the reaction taking place means NiOH is the cathode uh, over here the electron react with this uh, as well as uh, water is also involved so that you get nickel hydroxide and OH minus okay so this picture gives you what is acting as a cathode what is acting as anode and what is the anodic reaction cathodic reaction and in the overall reaction also and this overall reaction is reversible reversible that is when we charge the battery uh, we get back the metal hydride um, metal hydride okay and the while it is discharging the energy uh, the forward reaction take place while it is um, charging the reversible reaction will take place we are getting back the reactant so that the reaction can happen again to provide you the energy if you look into the diagram alone then you could be able to write the reaction and the overall reaction also advantages of this metal nickel metal hydride so it has got higher capacity okay uh, over as uh, uh, nickel cadmium battery 40% higher capacity and nickel metal hydride has higher energy densities uh, storage and the transportations are easy and it is eco friendly since it is rechargeable recyclable and service uh, is longer disadvantages uh, the cycle time will be reduced if uh, there is a 
load low, under uh, load conditions the cycle time may be reduced and uh, heat will be generated during charging there is a self discharger also okay uh, about 50% is higher self discharge compared to the nickel cadmium